So I'm gonna go ahead and skip number one because you don't need to worry about number one, wink, hint, whatever you think. So I'm gonna go ahead and look at number two. It says, find two consecutive negative odd integers whose product is 399. Well, from one odd integer to another is like three and five, so we add two to get from one to the other. So if the first one's x, then the next one's like x plus two. Product means to multiply, so we have x times x plus two is 399, so equals 399. Well, from here, we have x times x plus two. These things are parentheses. When you see parentheses, go ahead and distribute. So x squared plus two x equals 399. Make it equal to zero, subtract your 399 from both sides. So x squared plus two x minus 399 equals zero, and we can double bubble this thing. You have x, you have x, they multiply to be a negative, so one's a positive, one's a minus. So we're gonna get 19 and 21 that multiply up to 399. We want a positive two, so I'm gonna put the 21 with the positive, minus 19 will give us a positive two. We have something times something equals zero, so take both, set them to zero. It's not supposed to be that. Hit. Go. Okay, so we get negative 21 and 19. But notice, in your directions, it says two consecutive negative odd integers. So we already have the 21's negative. We want the one right before it that will multiply up to be 399. So there are our two integers. So 3a, we have the length of a rectangle is five centimeters less than twice the width. So the length of a rectangle is five centimeters less than twice the width. So 2w minus five, five centimeters less than twice the width. If the area is 88 centimeters squared, find the dimensions of the rectangle. So area is length times width. So if we have length times width equals 88, we know the length is this whole guy right here. We can just substitute them in where our L is in our equation. So we have 2w minus 5 times w equals 88. Once again, we have parentheses, so we can distribute the w, so we get 2w squared minus 5w equals 88. We want it to be able to equal 0 so that we can actually solve this quadratic. So I subtract 88 from both sides. So 2w squared minus 5w minus 88 equals zero. Now, since we have a number in front of our squared term, I'm going to take this and do our bottoms up method. So I'm going to multiply it by the 88 using two, so I'm going to write a two off to the side and circle it. So I'll be left with w squared minus 5w minus 176 equals zero. Factor this, double bubble thing, double trouble, level, I don't know, things that rhyme with double bubble. Multiply to be negative, so we have to have a positive and a minus. Difference is five, multiply to be 176. We're gonna have 16 and 11. We're gonna want plus 11 minus 16, so our difference is negative five. 11 minus 16 will give you negative five. But don't forget, we're still dealing with this two off to the side. So we actually have to do our bottoms up method now. 11 over two doesn't reduce, so take the two, throw it in front of the w. 16 over two reduces to eight over one. So we'll be left with 2w plus 11 times w minus 8 equals 0. We have something times something equals 0. Take them both, set them to 0. So we'll get 2w plus 11 equals 0. And w minus 8. Ooh, what is that? Nonsense. w minus 8 equals 0. So this one will give us w equals negative 11 over 2, but we can't have a negative width, so we're just going to throw that one out right away. This one will give us w equals 8. It's positive width. There's your width. Plug it back into either one of these to find your length. So if I put it in to this one here, plug it in for my width there. So length equals 2 times 8 minus 5. So 16 minus 5 is 11. There's your length, we have our width, we found the dimensions of the rectangle.
All right, now I'm going to go ahead and go on to part B. I'm going to write it in blue for B, so you actually see it's a different part. Part B is asking for the perimeter of the rectangle. Well, we already found the length and the width. The length is 11, the width is 8. So if that's 8, then this must be 8, and that must be 11. Don't forget, perimeter is just adding up all the sides. So we have 11 and 11 is 22, plus 8 and 8 is 16. So 22 plus 16, 40, whoa, 38, yes, centimeters. There we go. There's your perimeter. Number four. Find the dimensions of a rectangle whose length is four meters more than its width. So the length is four meters more than the width. So the width plus four is the length. And whose area is 252 meters squared. So we know the area is 252. Area, don't forget, is length times width. So very similar to the last one, we have the length is four plus W. So all you're gonna do is substitute that in for where you see W. So we'll have 252 equals L times, oh no, oh, I'm so stupid. Well, I'm, I made a mistake. Okay, because, check it out, ch -ch 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 check it out, LW, we know, Beastie Boys, come on you guys. <laughs> We know the length is 4 plus w, so we're actually going to substitute this in for the length. So we'll have 4 plus w. I don't know Beastie Boys. I'm so sad. Times w. We have parentheses. So we're going to take w, multiply it by everything in the parentheses. going to distribute it. So 252 equals 4w plus w squared. Again, you're going to want to equal 0, so subtract 252 from both sides. So 0, and I'm going to go ahead and order these from least to, or greatest to least, plus 4w minus 252. Double bubble, double trouble, boil and stubble, I don't know. Both w's multiply to being negative, so a plus and a minus. Difference of 4 multiplied to be 252. Uh, way too big. 16 and 20. No. Uh, 15 and 19. No. Thank you. 18 and 14. Okay. So if we have 18 and 14 that multiply to be 252, I'm going to want the 18 with the positive. Because plus 18 minus 14 will give us a positive 4 for our middle term. Set both to 0, so w plus 18 equals 0, and w minus 14, what is that? I have no idea. Arabic. Sydney likes that one. <laughs> so negative 18, still writing in Arabic. And w equals 14. Don't forget, completely ignore the negative one because you cannot have a negative width. So we can only have the positive 14 as our width. To find your length, plug it into either one of these. This one will probably be the easier one for you guys because all you do is add four. But I'm gonna show you the other way since I did that way last time. So 252 equals 14L. Plug it into this one for my width. So then I'll just divide both sides by 14. So length should be 18. Have the length, we have the width. We are done. Hi. A rocket is fired upward with an initial velocity of 168 feet per second using the formula H equals RT minus 16T squared. Determine when the rocket is 360 feet high. So we have our formula, height equals RT, where R is our rate, time is T in seconds, minus 16T squared. Don't forget, height is just where we want to determine it. So this is 360 equals 168, because that's our velocity, t minus 16 t squared. So we can find out when it is actually 360 feet off the ground. Don't forget, this will happen at two times, though. If we fire a rocket, it's going to have a max height up here. We have our ground level down here. It may hit this thing more than one time at 360 feet. Not now. Not now. We subtract 360 from both sides to get it equal to zero. 
So zero equals, I'm gonna go ahead and order this again from highest to lowest, minus 16 t squared plus 168 t minus 360. Don't forget, when you're factoring, you want to factor out the highest common factor that you can, so the greatest common factor. This one, I'm going to go ahead and pull out negative 8. So we'll have 2t squared minus 21t plus 45. We have a number in front of our t squared, so we're going to do our bottoms up. So multiply it by the 45. Circle it off to the side to make sure that we come back to it. So 0 still equals negative 8 t squared minus 21 t plus 90. Now we can do our double bubble with this thing right in here. So 0 equals negative 8 double bubble. First terms are going to be t on both of them. Signs are both going to have to be negative so they multiply to be a positive, add up to be a negative. And it's going to be 15 and 6. Multiply to be 90, add up to be 21. Don't forget our 2 off to the side. So we still have to do our bottoms up method. 15 over 2 won't reduce, so pull your 2 up with the t. 6 over 2 will reduce to 3 over 1. So we don't have anything to pull up over here. So we're still left with 0 equals negative 8 to t minus 15 times t minus 3. Something times something times something. This one doesn't have a t, so we're not really going to worry about it. Equals 0. Let's take them all, set them to 0. 2t minus 15 equals 0. And t minus 3 equals 0. Add 15. So 2t equals 15. Divide by 2, both sides. So t equals 15 over 2 seconds is your first answer. That's probably the second part when it's actually coming back down. Here you just have to add 3 to both sides. So t equals 3 seconds is where it's going to hit our 360 feet on the way up. Okay, last part. When does the rocket crash? So if the rocket's going to crash, obviously it starts on the ground, right? And then it's going to crash big explosion, flames, fireballs, whatever, everything, atom bomb, cool, happy day. That looks like some sort of lion or something, I don't know. Okay, but if it's going to crash, it leaves from the ground. It crashes on the ground, so your height is going to be zero. We know the rate is still 168 feet per second, and we want to know when the time it will be on the ground. So don't forget, factor out what you can first. So we can factor out an eight, so we'll be left with we can actually factor out a t too. Left with 21 minus 2t. Yeah. All right, so we have something times something equals zero. So take them both and set them equal to zero. So your first time will equal zero. Obviously, that's when it left. It started at zero seconds. That's when something begins, so that's when it's on the ground first. So this must be the time that it actually crashes and makes our line. So if I add 2t, let's go ahead and make it positive. I'll have 21 equals 2t, divide by 2, both sides. So t equals 21 over 2, which is the same thing as 10.5 seconds.